content. All right, so currently right now we have 217,000 acres um, that the fire has been mapped at, 11% contained. Um, a lot of the resources are here on 95. Um, they're doing some work here on the perimeter, making sure that everything's secure and everything's um, not breaking out of the unsecured areas. Um, a lot of resources over here, making sure that when the wind does come tomorrow, um, with the red flag warning, that we have this area secure so that the winds do come this direction, um, that they're going to be bumping up from the stuff that's already been kind of secured, worked on. Um, they'll be doing that today through this morning's today's shift and also tomorrow or tonight during the evening shift. Um, we do have an alert for Owyhee County, um, making sure that the residents are the only ones entering into Silver City. No recreationalists or OHVs um, are allowed. We're asking that for public and firefighter safety due to the fire behavior that is currently being um, seen and observed. So currently right now, 95 is open. Um, we are just letting folks know to be very cautious. Um, at any time, um, Hawaii County can shut it down. Um, if smoke and stuff of the unburned areas do come over 95, um, they will shut it down for public and um, firefighter safety. We want to make sure that everyone's cautious about that. So please ask and look on the Facebook pages for Hawaii County or the Soda Fire um, Facebook page for any updates to make sure that this is open. Um, if it is, um, just travel appropriately and safely to make sure um, you observe any of the behaviors or any emergency vehicles or Idaho Power working in that area. Can I ask you a quick question? Go ahead. So what do the, uh, uh, the uh, what are they predicting for tomorrow? Um, the same weather and fire behavior are going to expect of what today, just a little bit higher. Um, so their increased fire behavior is going to be in that area. Um, increased winds and different wind shift is going to go from the north into the south. Um, so that will be kind of adjusting to those um, wind patterns and also the outflow from the cold front. Just making sure everyone's ready and a high alert for any of the gusty winds or um, relatively low humidities, which can make fire behavior a little bit more extreme or erratic. Thank you.